Ready for this song? Go ahead. It's I don't like the disinterest. It's, it's going <laughs> to be like, bad. <laughs> all right. Uh, day after day, seems like I push against the cloud. Welcome to the I Can Explain That Podcast. <laughs> you yeah, like the uh, uh, cloud. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why did I start with that beautiful song? Sure. Do you know where that song is from? No. Because you're not black. Okay. Um, that song is from the soundtrack of Set It Off. Okay. The movie. Uh-huh. Which starts off our discussion with a great question. What is the best soundtrack song? The, the best soundtrack song? Mm-hmm. From the soundtrack. Got to be from a soundtrack. It can't. Don't give me like a song that they just play. Like Redbone. That's and such Get a out. wide berth of a question. I was going to say in just black movies, but I feel like that narrows it too slight. There's a lot. I feel like, I mean, get, just giving credit where credit's due, I'm thinking like the most commercially successful, mm. Moulin Rouge. Or well, the Real Lady I'm Marmalade. I'm not mad at that. Uh, you know what I'll go with? These two are classics, so much so that they're overused. Um, fuck is it? Staying alive, staying alive. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. Staying alive. And I'm walking on sunshine. Whoa. Whoa. What? I don't think that's technically walking a... Walking on sunshine. I don't think that's a movie-specific song. I thought it started with a movie, and then people just started... Fucking using it. I think it's because it's so corny. They they started <laughs> using, using it. Yeah. Mm. Is it similar to like what white chicks did with um, Thousand Miles? Yes. <laughs> so Thousand Miles is not corny. It is. Thousand Miles is fucking fire. Making my way downtown, walking fast, faces pass, and I'm homebound. But the real question, the real thing I want to go through. And I got a little bit of research from Complex, actually. The plot of Set It Off? <laughs> How dope was Queen Latifah at Set It Off? I like her braids. She went like a soldier. <laughs> um, That's how she died. On that yeah, I didn't like that your titty shook. <laughs> That's how I, was, I was just being Queen Latifah. <laughs> Yo. She got them fangs. Did you ever see Bessie? No. Her titties also, in she the movie. Yeah, she was naked. I was like, ah. Titties in the movie. They make they they in there. Now they out. Nothing against her titties, but I did have a big old crush on her titties. No, on Khadijah James. I thought she was fine as hell in Living Single. How old are you again? Forty nine. I am thirty. <laughs> <laughs> I have crush. I like me a working woman. She I got a little really magazine. Yeah. <laughs> she tall like a tall boy. I remember, remember when she beat like, Cheryl Miller in that game? You like to climb? Cause you what are you five five? I, I'm nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only saying what I know. Ooh, I'm only uh, saying what I know. I am five nine. Okay. Um. So the real question. Long winded ass. <laughs> <laughs> we talked about what's the worst black movies of all time. We did. But we did not talk about what the best are, and I think we should because I was looking at my top five. Ghost Dad. I was looking at my top five, <laughs> Meteor Man. <laughs> uh, I was looking at my top five, and I noticed three of my top five are all black movies. And I just wanted to know, because I think these movies are, are the greatest of all time, but mm -hmm. you may have your different. I think I'm similar where three... Uh Three of my top five, I mean, maybe one of them isn't necessarily a black movie, what, but your, it's a black lead character. What's your three? So, so my top five, uh -huh. Goodfellas, okay. Bad no Boys, black. black, Daddy Daycare. Mm. See, that's one. It's Eddie Murphy. Yeah. Bad Boys 2. <laughs> <laughs> More black. <laughs> Rio Bravo. It's a Western starting a, ra starting a racist. All right. My, I mean, my oh, my gosh. <laughs> You can't, you can't win them all. John Wayne was an awful person, but <laughs> God damn, was he a good actor, boy. <laughs> he pretty good. You want that gun? Pick it up. So, I wish uh, you would. Is that that one? That was Dirty Harry thing? No, that was Real Bravo. Uh -huh. So my top five. Black movies. Or your top five in general. Top five. Since you named your top five. Okay. Um, set it off. <laughs> is your number one? No, no, no. It's oh. not in order. Not in okay. order. 
Life. Oh, fuck, I love life. <laughs> I love life so much. Uh, it's a movie no one knows, but it was Stephen King's first director. Like, someone lost an eye on this set. Yeah, no. He, was it him? He, no, it was the I cinematographer. Okay. <laughs> and everyone, he even said that he was coked out of his mind. He doesn't like to bring mm. that movie up. But I was a kid when it came out, and it was just dope. It's called Maximum Overdrive. And it just had a bunch of trucks killing niggas. And then I have The Warriors. Warriors. And then The Wiz. Okay. So my three black ones, Life, uh -huh. Set It Off, and The Wiz. Sure. So it got me thinking, what are the best black movies of all time? So I went to Complex. I you had know to, what sucks? Had is to ask the internet. I feel like their list is going to have the ones with the most pain. Yeah, see, that, I was talking to somebody about that, and they was like the color purple. Yeah, it's like, gonna be the color purple. Twelve years of like, slave. I don't want. Whenever you got, first of all, <laughs> something about <laughs> Oprah. She's always in a movie, and she's getting beat or something. When she was in Selma, she yeah. got slapped. Can't you just be like trying to open a bakery or some shit, bitch. <laughs> like, like, when she was in, the, <laughs> all my life I, I had, had to fight. fight. Like, well, I kill him dead. <laughs> I love Harpo. Like she's always going through. Like I, we need to make. Oprah. I said hell no. You know what? Oprah should have been Cleo, and set it off. Now, granted, she dies, but she does. I don't think. <laughs> I just want to see if she. she oh yeah, maybe. <laughs> she got that energy when she's robbing banks. She mm -hmm. do this shit. I had to fight all my lives. When they put S, when they make the shit fall, <laughs> <laughs> lives. So I went to Complex. Okay. And the first movie they put, Media Man. No. <laughs> Hollywood Shuffle. So they have new movies on this list. Uh, and, and they're solid think, movies, but I don't. I think some would, would get the clout because they're decorated too. I don't know, you got One Night in good. Miami, which was the okay. Regina King's de right. directorial debut. With, uh, I still think she should have won. Muhammad Ali and the. Yep. And, uh, Judas and the Black Messiah. Okay. The Five Bloods. Okay. And are these just no? Now we getting some straight out of Brooklyn. I love that movie. <laughs> I love that movie so much because that one took place in Red Hook. They also put Fresh. Okay. They put Black Klansman. Okay. Poetic Justice. Okay. Juice. I knew. I literally as soon as you said uh, the first one, I was like, Juice gonna be on there. Uh, if Beale Street can talk, okay. Uh, Moonlight. I knew I, that was gonna be on there. Moonlight should be though. Twelve Years Slave gonna be the butler's Get gonna out. be on there. Get out. Okay, yeah, for sure. Black Panther. Okay. Malcolm X. Okay. Seems so, like pretty usual suspects. The Wood. The Wood is on my list too. I might have to move some. I'm trying out. to do the dance, but I'm sitting down. <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't like that at all. So I right. might have to. Slide, I'm gonna write it down. The wood is for sure on my list. I'm waiting to hear coming to America. On my list? No, on this on complex. Oh, so I'm like list. coming coming to America might be my top twelve. Go ahead. You didn't like that? I don't like that. Harlem Knights is in my top like six, and it's probably number six. Go ahead. Keep on scrolling. <laughs> Still don't like it? Bamboozled. Okay. You ever saw that movie? No. Yeah. No. 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 This you know what's weird? So because no. this movie was also on another publication's worst black movie list. No. <laughs> Next day. Who produced this? Like, someone, whoever wrote this, their cousin was in it. <laughs> My cousin is Donald Face. <laughs> Next Day Air was the, was the movie. Minister Society. Okay. Dead Presidents. Okay. Classic. House Party doesn't yes. get enough yes. credit. Yeah. House Party 2 is slept on. 100, class act slept on. Yeah. Oh, Five Heartbeats. Why is Five Heartbeats not on well, my keep list? Keep scrolling. <laughs> oh, on your list. <laughs> five Heartbeats. I feel like my whole top five is now all black. Five Heartbeats. Set it off. Light. Uh, life. The Wiz and The Wood. I love life. So, uh, like life as a general. No, the movie. <laughs> You gonna eat your cornbread? Mm -mm. Oh, Trevor. Don't say that. To you. you talking to me? Yeah, I think he's talking to you. Um, no, not, not at all. 
Um, I want you to have it. Uh, Love Jones. Okay. New Jack City. Okay. Set it off. There you go. Best man Holland. I'm going to go on and just get up out of that. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm going to go on. Not, not the original. I'm going to go on. The 2013 get... sequel. Woo! I'm going to get on out of that. Best Man Holiday. It made me sweat my eye, my eyeballs. No, no. You're going to finish that list. No, I'm done. No, you're going to finish the list. I'm done. I can't. Finish it. I, I just can't. You got to finish it. You got to finish. Nope. Mm-hmm. They had next day mm-hmm. air, bro. Finish that list, motherfucker. <laughs> Get up underneath that motherfucking swing. <laughs> uh, and it says on top, the best black movies of the last 30 years, to be specific. Okay, so that so that's would. Why, that that's why we get a lot of was publication, uh, Complex. I said, wait, when was it? This was uh, August 6th, this year. And so that would disqualify Coming to America and Harlem Nights. Oh, yeah. Technically. For sure, Hall of Nights. They're basically from House Party on. <sighs> Crooklyn. Okay. Fire. CB4. Slept on. I don't want to call it the best. It's, right. It's just like a... Straight out of low cash. Crazy motherfucker named Gusto. I fucked your girl because your girl is a big hoe. And I'm black, y'all. And I'm black, y'all. And I'm black, y'all. And I'm blacker than black. And I'm black, y'all. I'm blicky black, blacker than black, black. I'm blacker than black, yo. Because I'm black and I'm black. And I'm black, y'all. And I'm, I'm black, black, y'all. Yeah. And I'm blickety, blickety, blick, black, black, y'all. Girlhood. I've never even heard of this movie. As not have I. What? Huh? I don't know. Dope. Okay. Black Dolomite. Okay, it says Black Dynamite. What I said. Black Dolomite. <laughs> you you combine <laughs> Black Dynamite and my name is Dolomite. <laughs> For me, because that's what I wanted to see. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that was more of a personal thing. Black Dynamite. You know, uh, fucking Girls Trip they put up there. Okay, that's good. Straight but out of Compton. We haven't heard it yet. Maybe it's not on here. Dream Girls, right? That's a black ass movie. Love and basketball. Yes. Yes. Love brown sugar. Brown sugar is fire. Fire. So not late than this fire. Goodness gracious. Oh my gosh. She, Woo. To this day. Too much playing. I remember when she cut her hair and everybody and some people was like, I don't know, she looked a little wet. I said, then that y'all could just fall. I go. Yeah, and yeah, take go that. Your, retire. Get out of here. No, y'all need her. Cause y'all can't love her like I can. <laughs> <laughs> uh soul food. Okay. They in the pocket. Boys in the hood. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Five Heartbeats, which a movie you you fucking hate. I refuse to see it. I'm going to make you watch it. No, you're not. <laughs> with a gun. No. <laughs> Fully with I'm a gun. I'm just going to watch Temptations over it. If I got a gun to your head? Yep. <laughs> you're going to watch it in your, in your mind? Mm-hmm. <laughs> everybody, every everybody every time sees. they sing. <laughs> it's not. It's, it's, <laughs> Every time they say you hit my girl, <laughs> <laughs> ain't too proud to beg. What's love got to do with it? Okay, I'm, I'm a lot getting, of these centered around pain. Couple boomerang. <laughs> uh, Friday. Friday, yes, hands and down, that, and that's one of the last ones. But I mean, they didn't say Twelve Years a Slave. They didn't say Dream Girls. I, that's why I am happy about not having. So much pain. Sure. Because I do feel like, do you, do you? But 12 Years a Slave was fucking decorated as fuck. It was a good movie. No, I mean like a war, accolades. Yeah, no, I know. But it, it was, it was solid movie. And then Dream Girls also. Accolades. So it was, oh, you know what movie they forgot? The Hip Opera. Carmen, sure. You yeah, love that they movie? They totally forgot that and. Janky, no, don't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> Would you watch the five heartbeats? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Welcome home, Roscoe Jenkins. I don't know why they get that on the list. So you telling me you would watch Carmen over before you watch the five heartbeats? The fact that that's even a thought. <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't like change. I, I don't. I don't. <laughs> I, you really not answering? I might. I'm, I might have to watch Carmen before I watch Ooh. five heartbeats. <laughs> that's because you know it's gonna make me mad. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty. That's, that's a pretty <laughs> powerful point. Wait, was Selma on the list? Yeah, no, not on, on the theirs. complex list. No, Selma's pretty good. Also, I mean, that's that's a movie where yeah, you know, pain happened. But a lot of those. So, what would you say though, if you had to pick one, not personal, because our personal thing is going to be clouded. 
Mm-hmm. But if you if you could just pick one the greatest black movie, I'll let you get of three. all time or is stand with the thirty years. If you want to get me with all time, I'll take it. But that's, that's tough. a lot. One immediately, no hesitation, get out. That's in there. That's in there. I'm not mad at that. I'm not even though I personally never watched it again because I feel like yeah, I know yeah. the thing, you know. But I think for what it did literally revitalize an entire industry genre sure. of film for sure took everyone by like by for surprise sure. amazing piece of movie and it's weirdly like um <laughs> i mean how many white people i've had tell me get out was the most important film to that them? shit yeah just for the first time for them to see some shit that they i feel like that happens every time evident. every time ever since roots Right, yes, yes, <laughs> right. yes. Ever since Roots, white people have been like, this is the most important thing of our lifetime. And then something else comes out. They're like, this is the most important thing of our lifetime. So it's... So get out for sure. Get out. I, I agree with that. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to stick with the pain. The color purple. It's one of my favorites of all time, and it's just an amazing piece of film. You know what people sleep on with the color purple? The fucking music. Music was good. The score that's Quincy. You know what that we, score is perfect. You know what's another good movie doesn't get mentioned at all, but I remember watching it a couple times. Uptown Saturday Night. Yes. Uh <laughs> Beloved. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Good yeah, movie. For sure. Sad. Pain. Very sad. Mississippi Burning. Pain. Mm-hmm. Um Yeah, Color Purple for sure. Three. I got one left for the three spot. Ooh. ooh, ooh. Five heartbeats. Uh, no. Um, <laughs> what I said, I said, get out. You said, get out. I said, color purple. Mm. That three spot, boy. That it's is, a hard one. That is very, that's very tough. Wild, wacky things. Uh, soul plate. Agreed. I, I would go, <laughs> I would go with that third spot. I agree with the, your two, right? I, I mean, just taking my personal opinion out. Um, I probably would put do the right thing. You know what? I think Spike has to kind of be there I agree. with something. That's you know, my on the three. bus, yeah. something. He needs to be there with something. Yeah, that'd be my three right there. So I would go that. I think Spike Lee isn't mentioned with the, I, I think, the big three directors of all, like the Spielbergs, the hell, maybe about five. Spielberg, James Cameron. Mm-hmm. Uh, Scorsese. Scorsese. Tarantino, mm-hmm. and I mean, there's a Francis Ford Coppola. Uh, Coppola, yeah. But I would respect to Coppola, but I would put Spike there yeah. in that five. Spike Lee is probably my favorite director. What yeah. he does with framing and blocking with music. First of all, that dolly shot is, is yeah. iconic. Yeah, iconic. He did it like that's that's literally like that's his thing. We should dolly shot. Yeah, we what? need a, we need a dolly though. We just, let's let's just back up yeah, on our way. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate you, and we're gonna dolly out of here. Peace out. Did we dolly out? No, we just hitting the wall. <laughs>